never had a lot of money growing up. I didn't receive an allowance for doing nothing, and I didn't receive much of one from doing something either. Occasionally, my father would give me a dollar if I filled up the green trash bin with weeds. Most of our tools were broken, but we would make do or use our hands. My main income though was the $25 checks that would come from my grandmother twice a year on my birthday and on Christmas. My brother liked to spend his birthday money on candy, but I didn't. I didn't like the idea of spending my money on something that would be gone in less than a day. Though I didn't understand just why I thought that way at the time. Now, to be honest, I think I was somewhat bitter about this at the time. Why couldn't I have an allowance or nice things like my friends? Why couldn't I spend my free time playing Nintendo like my friends? Why should I have to read books and be productive? It seemed like torture to my adolescent mind. But what I came to realize through it was that how you spend your resources is very precious. But more than money, we have another resource that is much more precious, our time. As the saying goes, time is money. Time, it was something my family was stingy with as well. My parents worked very hard for us kids growing up. To this day, they still work hard. My mother only slept about five hours a day, not always because she had to, but because it's better than wasting your life sleeping. She still does this. Her philosophy was to make the most of life, to produce something valuable with the small amount of time you're given. I certainly didn't appreciate this as a child, but as I grew older, I realized that they were right. Time is money. I wondered, what is the most valuable way to spend your time? People can live for money, but I already knew that. Everybody knows that. People can live for relationships, for pleasure, for all sorts of things. Well, what is the most valuable thing? Because it makes sense that the pursuit of that most valuable thing will be the most precious use of my time. There are many things in the world that don't last. Money, cars, careers, relationship, good food, actually pretty much everything. It all lasts only for a short time. But what if there's something more valuable? I knew that if there was something that was more valuable, it must be something that lasts. It must be not something temporary that lasts a matter of hours, days, weeks, months, years. It must be the eternal things like God, faith, the Bible, and salvation. Also, if these things really were the most valuable, then along with my time being spent investing in this, it also ought to be invested in sharing it with those around me. After all, if I had the cure for a terrible disease, for cancer, for COVID-19, then isn't it only right for me to share it as soon as possible without cost? Definitely. Then if this faith was something valuable, it should be something worth sharing. But as I grew more and meditated on this, I realized that in reality, few people live this out. People out there in the world, they live for what pleased them, or sometimes for other things that they thought of as valuable, although those things were still only temporary things didn't seem to me much different than the life of an animal. To eat, to sleep, to procreate, rinse, repeat. When I thought about it, to live like this seemed like such a sad thing. 
But what was more sad was that this behavior wasn't limited to people out there in the world. Christians are also so concerned with worldly things. Finding a husband, finding a wife. They thought a lot about what they wanted, but not what God wanted. Not everyone, of course, but it was definitely the norm. I found that even many people who appeared religious did not invest their time as you'd expect. On the other hand, many passionate individuals with sincere convictions devoted themselves to the ministry. But there was always a question of whether or not the things they were investing in were valuable. Many people have devoted their lives to a science only for it to be debunked. Many people have devoted their lives to a company only for it to go bankrupt. Many people have devoted themselves to an investment that turned out to be a scam. Their ideas, thoughts, and theories that led them to believe those things were not true. What I found was that many people who devoted themselves to the ministry didn't really understand the Bible. Although they thought they did, upon closer examination of their beliefs, their beliefs were more grounded in unfounded and man-made theories that don't last. Their beliefs were not grounded in reality. One day, a friend introduced me to a Bible study that changed my life. It answered all my questions, even questions I had never thought to ask. I was finally able to understand God's will in the Bible. And after understanding the Bible, I was so overjoyed. Now finally, I could live the valuable life I had always wanted to live. Furthermore, those around me lived with the same joy and purpose. We had discovered the most valuable thing. My father once told me a story of when he was young. He didn't have much either, but there was a time as a child that he visited a hotel and casino with his parents. Can I put money in the slot machine, he asked. You can, his mother said. But once you do, you won't get it back. He put his money in the slot machine, pulled the lever, and never saw that money again. But he learned from that experience. You should live every day as if it was your last, he always said. Our life is like that money. How will we spend it? It could disappear in an instant if we don't invest in the right thing. Now I can't say that I'm perfect about this. I do some things for fun and it, it isn't wrong to, to do that from time to time. But to live with a purpose, to live for something eternal, that seems much better to me, a better way to live. We carry out our lives according to what we value. How about you? What do you value and how are you living? Do your values and your actions align? Consider how you're living and whether it's for the present moment or for something eternal. I hope you'll find that one eternal, valuable thing to live for. Time is money. How will you spend it? Jesus. Hey, mortal friends. Thanks for visiting us at Easy Bible. Don't forget to click the like and the subscribe button. God bless. Jesus.